whole point of this program was to give Hector, Francisco, and Jose, working at each of the three vineyards, areas that they felt like they could improve using the skills and the knowledge that they have, but also working with all of you. The idea wasn't for me to tell them where or what to do. The idea was, the only rule was that they had to pick an area that we didn't already know was one of the best areas of the vineyard. And what I wanted to make sure was that they got to choose whatever they wanted to do with it. So there was one section where maybe they wanted to pull off all of the leaves or another section where they only wanted to remove the leaves in the middle. They got to choose how they wanted to drop food. And at the end of the year, we harvested these areas separately and Nate made wine out of them individually. And for the grapes that we harvested in 2018, uh, Jose, Hector, and Francisco came to the winery and they got to taste the different sections of Pinot Noir that they made in 2018. And they got to choose which one they liked best to get bottled. And now, this year and in a couple months, we will be selling those bottles of wine as a three pack for a new program called Ojo Brioso. This is Kathy, you guys probably have all seen her around. So this, this program is so special, so unique. We realized that we couldn't just we didn't want to just have a regular label on it, so we have some special artwork. This program also is involved with, um, with some charitable work, giving back. For this project, we chose three different charities to give back to in the community. The first is Salud, which we know is right. Um, the second is iVoy, which some of you may already know about as well. And uh, iVoy is a really special program because it's intended for people who are currently working in the vineyard in Oregon. And it's a really wonderful opportunity because they provide things like OLCC um, servers permit, um, WSET education. And the third program is called the Roots Fund. And the Roots Fund, it is intended to benefit anyone in any part of the wine industry that is looking to continue their education. Let's start with the artwork. Uh, Eduardo Soto came out and spent the day and we talked to the three vineyard supervisors and he got to see the area. And then he went away and created a mural that we are then using for the labels. This is the mural. It's meant to show the, the vineyard in, in three different states, uh, kind of working along this way where it starts off more in a, a winter situation and it works through to harvest. My name is Eduardo Soto. After having visited the vineyards and talking to the different vineyard managers and hearing from them, you know what, the Ojo Brioso project was all about. And so when I was thinking of how I wanted this to look, I really wanted to you know, sort of describe the vastness of it um, and you know, how it just differs geographically from one another. So after having sketched around and playing with different ideas, you know, I really wanted it to have a, a really warm feeling, um, something which can't really be found in the real world because I wanted it to have you know that magical realist feel after having seen my artist sparkling project that I did for them some people involved with the company figure out who they were gonna hire to make a label for this project they had seen my artwork and liked it enough and thought that it you know met all the needs <laughs> which I'm really happy for because I have had so much fun doing